Hi everyone. This is a flip through of my recently completed um, personal junk journal. And it is, uh, let me see, it covers the months November through February. Although I did do a um, separate journal for um, December, which I already videoed previously. But anyway, um, so this is a an altered book. I really like Kathleen Mower's um, videos and all of the techniques that she demonstrates. And um, I sort of followed along with her um, style in some ways. First of all, by using the um, altered book. And second, by using a, um, a button closure and a stretchy um, band with a little bit of a beads on the bottom um, as all part of the, the closure and um, I, I like it pretty well although it it really got full and so I just needed to wrap it up and move on to the next one so anyway I will just um, do a hopefully relatively quickly quick flip through of this so um, it's, I mentioned I started it in November, so there's a lot of fall um, uh, ephemera near the front. These are from um, my um, pen pal Chris, and a little note from Chris there. Got a couple of um, fortunes from fortune cookies. I got another, I did this in a previous one, and I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> I've collected a really big leaf in the fall, and as you see, it covers two pages, and I think that's enough. I don't need to do any more of those, but just kind of decorated the page, and um, I like the quote, it is only possible to live happily ever after on a day-to-day -day basis, and a couple of, um, or a few uh, tea tags. We had a visit from our grandsons, and this tells about, uh, yeah, our visit with them. While well, our uh, daughter and son-in-law were in Mexico having a much needed and appreciated getaway. Um, my husband used to have a job across the state and I used to drive over there and stay in a little apartment he had and I enjoyed those times. I enjoyed the trip. I enjoyed the little town, Dayton. And these are just some photos that I took that I happen to still have on my desk. So I use those. My grandson, the oh, hair in his eyes makes me crazy, but anyway, he was very proud of himself. He did very well on a spelling test, so. Um, it's my wine collection. I do like collecting the, or soaking off the labels and um, putting them in my book. Mostly, I, on a regular basis, we I have a favorite red and a favorite white, and so I don't have that many different labels this time. Uh, this is my previous journal that I uh, posted in, uh, did a flip through on, and this is a cute little November calendar that Sue kindly gave me, shared with me. This is a, a morning um, walk in November, and we had a bunch of people out on the fishing pier, and I couldn't figure out what it was for, and they were fishing for squid or squidding. I'm not sure what you'd call that, but... And then um, just some scenes that I, I liked. So I made a little collage out of it. And let me see if I can help with the glare. No, nope, maybe not. Um, I just wrote about that. And then uh, November was my birthday. So I got some birthday cards, which I featured in here. This is part of a, an envelope. Um, uh, that came from my pen pal, Chris, and there's a note from Chris. This is, um, this is a style of, um, tuck spot I, I learned from Kathleen Mower as well. Um, it's just, instead of just one corner thing, she uses a lot of elements to make the tuck spot. I really like that, so I used that. And then this is just a journaling card I had made. It's a lovely birthday card from Sue. 
This is another technique I learned from Kathleen, and it is a, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, embossed, a little embossing folder, but some um, uh, cardstock has a white inner core, so when you sand it, just go over it lightly with sandpaper, the white comes through, and I just really like that look. It's a collage sort of about Thanksgiving. Here's another time I used that sanding technique. This is just a card about Thanksgiving, and I wrote about that. We did. That's a reminder card from my dentist. And here's another card. I think it was an advertisement for a different dentist, but it had this really cute illustration on it. So I combined it with my um, dentist's reminder card and put that there. This is about doing chores, and I'm very lucky my husband does some really, <laughs> does a lot of the chores for me. And I admitted I'm lucky, and I wrote about that. And he's, he also does the shopping, and he's very careful to shop um, when he gets extra points at the gas station that's attached to our grocery store. And so when I saw this, I just, it just reminded me of him. So I put that in there. Always have to feature my cats somewhere along the line. This is Iris and Lily. And this is my daughter's cat, Misty. And this actually is a sticker, but it looks identical to Misty. And that's um, Lily sleeping. I just thought it was so cute how her tail and paws are start, sort of woven together. And I, I always think this guy's so cute. He's from the um, package of Meow Mix. And I just did a little um, um, multi multimedia. Is that what it's called? Um, just used a variety of things and made a Made a little card to tuck in there, too. I like the quote, too. This is uh, my sister and I. After coming back from England, we decided to have a sort of a fancy afternoon tea. So we had set the table all up for tea. My daughter and I celebrating our birthdays. Mine is the 19th and hers is the 21st. And so on the 20th, we went out and had a nice Mexican lunch, and we got a free dessert. This is a little um, journaling card I made of miscellaneous um, leftovers and um, a sticker. And um, we've just had some incredible sunrises and sunsets, and I just can't stop taking pictures. So I did that, and I thought all these colors went together well. And I actually did this page before this one and was talking about the beautiful, colorful sunsets. This is, I had, was way behind on working on my junk journal, this junk journal actually, and uh, I pulled out everything and that was just kind of the mess that was, was there. And so I took a picture of it and talked about how doing junk journals actually does create happiness for me. I had purchased a uh, journal from Christina Betts, and this is some of the packaging that came with it, a picture of the journal itself, a thank you card from her, and these are pictures of some extra goodies that she sent along with the journal. Just a collage, and a little talking about how I just like to use a variety of things that are lying around to make um, make collages. That's a little framed, um, oh, I don't know what you call it. So it's kind of a homemade sticker made with packing tape and some um, dried flowers that my daughter had given me. My husband and I decided to try um, the plant-based burgers. And so we did two different kinds. This is from a restaurant, the Impossible Burger, and this is Beyond Burger. And uh, I just wrote about that. Actually, I thought they were both fine. They're both good. I'd do it again. Um, this is, I never did fill that in, but this actually was um, a uh, call it 
was a sachet that I had in my drawer for years. And I pulled it out and again, using a technique that I learned from Kathleen, I sanded what it said behind there and then added a sticker on the top. And this is actually a, um, a big junk mail envelope. And I just centered that um, sachet in the middle of it and then just a little collages around it. Another note from my pen pal Chris. And we're doing a, a, um, a challenge each month um, and, um, for a collaging challenge. And this is her challenge for me for February. And this was the resulting collage that I made with her challenge. And then she made this two-part um, tag, which is always really pretty. She does great work. This, again, is collage with a bunch of stuff I had laying around my desk. Um, my good friend Carol, my husband and I, these are sort of leftover pictures, but instead of throwing them away, I made them into something. And then on this side, um, a tag, and some whatever I was writing about there. Um, this is a picture, another technique from Christine or um, Kathleen. This is a picture from a travel magazine and or a travel brochure, a large travel brochure book. And I cut it out, made it into an envelope. And then I went around the edges again with sandpaper to sort of give it an antique -y look. And I like it and I'm gonna use that um, technique again. This is one of our cats, Lily. This is a, on January 20th, my daughter and husband and I went to a pub and then we went to this cookie store. So it's just ephemera from that. Um, another day, my daughter came over and we had um, pho, P-H-O, pho, some, I guess it's pronounced in some cases, and pho in others. And uh, that was the, um, <laughs> I can't I think of the word, um, fortunes from the fortune cookies we got. We stopped at the donut store, picked up some donuts, walked over to Wesley's and saw what they were doing with the um, buildings that they're doing. This is just, um, just writing. I wanted to do a little more writing again. And more writing again with a little collage, a little quote. Um, there's another picture I came across. This is a picture of me when I was 17. And um, I was in a group and we performed and this is backstage before performance. And I think that's one of my favorite pictures of me. And I, and I wrote about that. There we are. This was um, an, an old ledger that I sort of inherited. Uh, when my mom had it, when she died, I, I took all the paper related stuff and I noticed her handwriting, and then I noticed the words, and I deduced that it was when my my father first started a um, contracting business in South San Francisco. This would have been around the time I was born or before, so maybe 1950, 1951. So I wrote about that, and then that's a picture of my mother and father. I really love that picture. And I wrote about the sort of the state of politics in our country right now, which is really depressing. Um, on February 28th, we went to Costco. Uh, these are just some things we got, and I got a new pair of glasses. These are um, business cards. I'm always picking up business cards, and these are from businesses and restaurants. Uh, in our neighborhood, basically. And that's another um, reminder card for my dentist. I don't get that many, actually. I just don't put them in all that often. And we made a new discovery, a new restaurant in town that um, I think I'm gonna be pretty excited about. Uh, my husband had a procedure at uh, Kaiser Permanente, and I, of course, kept all the ephemera. I went out for a latte while he was in surgery and kept all of his ephemera and wrote about that. 
just a place to store this actually and this is um another card for my pen pal and she's this is the march challenge she wrote what i should do for the march challenge and there's a picture of me when i was, well, it was 1972 i was living in an apartment with my girlfriend at that time and i always have to keep all the tea tags and stuff and I just put them around this um, picture that I cut out of a magazine and posted on there. Oh, this is a cute idea. Um, Ann Kenlin um, did a, um, a video on these little whimsical birds made from a, a circle and I thought it was really cute so I made one too, sort of a variation of that. And But anyway, so that's what that is about. I don't know if you can read this, but there's a stamp here that says to be continued. So that is that, and I am happy to move on to my next journal. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.